wisest of all men, Israel's King Solomon, once wrote in the Proverbs, A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, Proverbs 15.13, and A merry heart does good like medicine, Proverbs 17.22. We all enjoy a good healthy laugh once in a while, but as a Christian, aren't you tired of hearing comedians who offend both our morals and our faith? Let me introduce to you someone special. He's a breath of fresh air for all Christians who need a good laugh. His act is clean. Uh, and I, I don't like my relatives, some of them. I mean, I, I love them, but I don't like them sometimes. Like I have my Uncle Chooch. Yeah, Uncle Chooch. Isn't that a funny name, Chooch? He's, he's a very, like, a, he's a very macho guy. You know, he's like, he's, he's not very a nice guy sometimes. You know, when I was a kid your age, how old are you? Oh, good, I'm eight and a half. Okay. <laughs> he took me seriously. Yeah, he used to tell me nursery rhymes, but he used to tell me nursery rhymes his own way, his version. Like he said to me, Yo, Tom, listen to this. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the cops knew about it. <laughs> See, they were following Mary. Because that lamb she had, she stole from little Bo Peep. <laughs> Crazy, I tell you, you know. And I used to talk to him, I said, Uncle Chooch. You're still laughing at that name, aren't you? I hope he doesn't hear you laughing at his name. He likes his name. His act is kosher. Hey, his mother's Jewish. <laughs> very strange, very strange. And uh, I'll tell you, my mother, she's a typical Italian Jewish mother, always thought I didn't have enough to eat. I remember once I came from, home from school, I said to my mother, Mom, I have a stomach ache. I threw up. What should I do? She said, my son, take Pepto-Bismol and wash it down with a meatball hero. <laughs> Always thinking food, you know? I, I hate to admit this, but my mother was once arrested. She was arrested for a drive-by feeding. Yeah, I mean, she used to cruise down the streets of Coney Island Avenue shooting meatballs at skinny people. It was terrible. She hated it. People didn't eat. And his act is Christian. Tom is born again. Left that, you know, if we want to get blessed, God wants to bless us, but we have to do our own part, right? Isn't that correct? I'll give you an example of what not to do. My uncle, every day, he prays the same prayer. Oh, God. Please let me win the lottery. Oh God, please let me win the lottery. So one day, the sky gets dark and a big voice comes from the sky and it says, do you want to win the lottery? Do me a favor, buy a ticket. <laughs> he is Tom Padovano and I highly recommend him for your Christian gathering for some good, clean humor and even to deliver his testimony if you'd like. My name is Derek Drew, and I lead a congregation called Israel of the Nation's Hebrew Christian Fellowship in Norwalk, Connecticut, where these clips were filmed at one of the shows that Tom did for us. I think so much of Tom that I volunteered to produce this short video to help to promote him and his comedy. You can hear more of Tom's comedy at www.blogtalkradio.com slash Christian Comedy or visit Tom's website at www.tomcomedy.com. You can contact Tom Padovano at tom at tomcomedy.com or call 718-932-2348.